Greetings, faith, family, and friends. Thank you for joining us for this Wednesday update. I hope you had a blessed Christmas. I know that um, I had one, and just a highlight of my Christmas break was Christmas Eve. Uh, we had all of the kids together, which is becoming less and less common. We have one out on the East Coast right now. We have a couple in college, but they were all home for Christmas. And so um, we celebrated together. My parents actually also came up for Christmas Eve. So we had the whole family together, all the kids plus my parents. And at five o'clock, we watched our Christmas Eve service from, from Faith United Methodist Church. And I just want to thank everyone involved, from the musicians to the readers. Uh, Spencer Youngblood Blood is our new uh, video tech, and he's the one that put all that together. And he did an awesome job. I thought it was just very, um, very passionate, the whole service, and, and really pointing to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I know it was meaningful for our family to uh, to take that in together. So I really appreciated Christmas Eve and, and spending that time together as a family, watching our watching our Christmas Eve service. Now this coming Sunday, you'll notice behind me, um, our nativity scene is a little different rather than the shepherds. We have the, the wise men, um, also known as the Magi. So we have Joseph, Mary, the baby, and the, the wise men. And this coming Sunday is Epiphany Sunday, which is uh, in celebration of Jesus's appearance to, to the Magi, to the wise men. Now, Epiphany is actually January 6th, but again, Epiphany Sunday is January 3rd. So if you want to know a little more about the Magi or Epiphany Sunday, and even if you don't, um, join in uh, uh, with us uh, this coming Sunday as I as I uh, teach a little bit about that, as I preach about uh, Epiphany Sunday and the Magi. I, I think it's very interesting, so I invite you to join along with us this coming Sunday. And then after that, we're going to begin a new sermon series looking I know some of you probably don't want to do this, but looking back at 2020 and seeing where God was working, you know, I, I hear a lot of people saying, you know, let's just forget about 2020. Let's put it in the past and move on. But I truly believe God was working and moving in 2020. So we're going to spend a few weeks looking at that, looking at God's blessings, looking at God's grace, looking at the many ways God was working and how God used us the body of Christ, to work in the world as well. So I'm kind of excited about that. Before we leave 2020 behind, let's look back and let's see where God was working. And let, let us celebrate that we have a God who works even in the midst of a pandemic, even in the midst of social unrest, even in the midst of, a, of, of, of an anxious election for many people. God was still Working, So we're going to have that sermon series after uh, after Epiphany Sunday, so beginning January 10th. That's right. And just a couple of other announcements for this week. Now, starting tomorrow is Christmas, or not Christmas Eve, it's New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is tomorrow, so our office is open from 8 to noon tomorrow on Thursday. And then Friday, for the New Year's holiday, we will be closed. So if you need to give us uh, a call, uh, there won't be anybody here, but we will be checking messages and uh, we'll be able to check email as well. So if you need anything, let us know. But uh, we do have also our new newsletter is out. So that'll go out in the weekly email as well as it is on our website. So our January newsletter has all of our updated prayer concerns as well as any news and updates and calendar for the month of January. Now, we also just want to share with you a couple of updates on our prayer list right now. We do have a few that we want to continue to pray for. First of all, we want to uh, pray for the family of Monica Scarce, who passed away last week. And so we want to keep her family in our prayers, as well as uh, Phil Stiver's brother passed away yesterday. So his name was Bob Newton. So we want to keep Phil and Craig in our prayers as they deal with that situation. We also want to pray for uh, Doug Nickel and Bill Marone, both who are dealing with medical issues. And so we want to continue to pray for both of them in their difficulties right now. And so we just want to take a few moments and then uh, just lift them all up in prayer. And uh, so let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this day. And we thank you for the way in which you have been present in the midst of a difficult year. Knowing that you still are here, you are present with us, and you, you feel our pain, and you feel our hurt. But Lord, we are on the eve of a new year. And so we call upon you today to be with us, to help us see the renewal, to help us see uh, with fresh eyes the ways in which you have been present with us and the ways in which you're calling us out. God, we ask today that you be with each of our prayer concerns. We ask that you be with Monica's family and, and that you would be with Bob's family, be specifically with Craig and Phil as they deal with this difficult time. 
Lord, we also ask that you be with uh, Bill Marone and his family as, as he just needs healing, God. As he's gone off dialysis, we ask that you would just bring him comfort and peace. And Lord, we also ask that you would be with Doug Nickel, Lord, that you would just heal his body. Lord, we ask that you would be with each and every one of these prayer concerns and those that aren't mentioned, those on that list um, that we have, that you would continue to be with each and every situation. Because God, we know that you are faithful. Lord, we ask all of this in your blessed name. Amen. Amen. Now, did you want to mention a Christmas highlight? You mentioned it. You mentioned it earlier to me, and now I can't get Brad out of my mind. <laughs> so but. every year we do get Christmas jammies like everybody does. And this year we did buy onesies. So we had onesies this year for Christmas. But uh, we all sat around on the couch together and, and we watched the Christmas Eve service. And really, it was a highlight for me. And even though we couldn't be here, and I really did miss that. I can't remember a Christmas Eve that I was not in church my entire life. Um, and so I missed being here together. But I was so touched by that service, uh, lighting the candles and hearing my kids sing Silent Night. It was a beautiful moment for me and one that I will always remember. So thank you for all of you who participated in that and I hope that you all had a chance to enjoy it. And if you didn't, it's not too late. It's still posted. Both services, both the five o'clock and the 11 o'clock communion service are still available. So please make sure you check those out. Yeah, we actually did the 11 o'clock on Christmas morning. So we watched that and had communion together as a family on Christmas morning just to celebrate Christ's birth. So, so yeah, yeah so check them out. Hope you had a blessed Christmas. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye.